Hi, are you wondering how you should back up QuickBook files, uh, how to restore them? I'm Lisa London and I'm the accountant beside you. I'm going to take you step by step how to do that. I'm also the author of QuickBooks for Churches and Other Religious Organizations. And in the book, I can very frequently remind you how important it is to back up and how to do these restores. So to do this, we're going to go over to the QuickBooks files. Now, I've got QuickBooks open. This happens to be the Accountant 2014 edition, so it may look a little bit different than yours, but that's okay. It should still have basically the same menus here along the top. We're primarily interested up here in the file, and we want to back up a company. So I'm going to backup company, and I want to create a local backup. Now, it's going to ask me, do I want to go online? If you do that, that will go to an Intuit, the company that makes QuickBooks, website that offers a service to um, backup automatically into the cloud for you. There is a fee for that. But we are going to do a local backup. Local back backup means you can save it to a flash drive or on your hard drive or to, say, a Dropbox or Google Drive account so it saves um, up in the cloud also. So I'm going to hit next on the local backup. Now, we have some choices. Do we want to save it now? Do I want to save it now and schedule future backups or only schedule future backups? I'm going to choose to save it and schedule future backups so you can see what that entails. <clears throat> what it'll do, it will save the backup copy automatically every time I close my company file, and I've got it set for five times. If you only use the system maybe once a week, you might want to have it set to close every time you get out of the system. If you're in and out of it a lot during the day, you might want to do it every so many times. Let's click Options here. This is important. This tells you where it is that you want the files to back up to. If I had a flash drive in this computer, I would browse it and point it over to the flash drive to save. Right now I've got it saving to a file I'd set up on my desktop called Backup. And that way then I can just take that backup file and copy it to another location or up to the cloud anytime I want. <clears throat> now, they give you some options to add the date and the time of the backup. Always click that. You want to know what your latest backup file is. And then you can also limit the number of copies. So if you had it backing up every time you close the system, you could easily be wasting a lot of data space <clears throat> by having too many files there. So you may want this three or maybe five copies. Now, um, again, then it has you how many times you want it to remind you to back up. And then there's this verification. Now, I choose complete verification. Unless your file is absolutely huge, you're not going to notice it's, it's any longer. And even if your file's huge, it's a good idea to make sure it's completely verified. doesn't do any good to back up if the data is not good. So, as I've told you, I put it to my same hard drive. Well, QuickBooks doesn't like that because they know that if my computer crashes, I've now lost my backup drive too. So, they're warning you, go ahead and change the location to a flash drive or a, or a cloud so that it's not running. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use this location. Now, the next option is you get to schedule a backup. So here, I could describe it, and I'm going to say this is my weekly backup and I tell it what location, and here's where I might want to put, make sure I have a flash drive or wherever, maybe a Dropbox account that I want to send it to. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put it to my backup file. And I tell it the number of backup copies to keep, and maybe here, because this is a scheduled and maybe I'm going to go with 10. All right, I'm going to tell it I want to do it 1 a.m. every Friday. Because then I figure it's not going to bother me as long as I remember to keep my computer on at that point. You can also do a password. Hit OK. And now it's going to ask me to store a Windows username and password. OK? So I'm going to leave that not. Um, I put a password in there. And now it knows my Windows password so that it can set up there. And now you see I have a weekly backup, and here's what the status is. Okay, now I'm going to hit Finish. It warns me that the backup has been scheduled. 
and then it starts to do the actual backup. <clears throat> and depending on the size of your file, this will only take a few seconds or it may take several minutes. This file happens to be very small, so it's not going to take very long. And you get to listen to me one chat away as it does that. Oh look, it's finished already. Now, not only does it tell you it saved a copy, it tells you where it saved it and the, that the file name has the, the date and time on it. Notice the file extension is QBB. That's QuickBooks Backup. That's what that stands for. So I'm going to hit OK. Now, I know that my file has been backed up. I'm going to back up the home menu. Now, something has happened, and I need to restore that backup. Well, if this is just on the same machine and, you know, it just happens to be on my flash drive, I can come back up here to Backup Company, Restore Previous Local Backup, and look, it'll even tell me, oh, here's the last backup you did. I can hit that one. It'll say, where do you want to restore it? Say here. It'll ask me for it. File name, the whole routine. You say yes. It already exists. Do I want to replace it? Yes. Now, it's going to warn me. If you do this, you're going to overwrite whatever was already there. Are you sure you want to do this? So, of course, I type yes. But that warning has um, helped a few times when I realized I'd put the wrong company name in. Or you pay attention to those warnings. They're often a huge help. So now the system is restoring, and here it pops back up, and it's been six restored successfully. Yay! Okay, I had some memorized transactions. We won't worry about that, and we'll move back to the home menu. So, so here I am back at home. Now, that was how I restored a file that was already on my machine. Now, if I say my machine crashed and I had to reinstall QuickBooks on a different machine and I want to bring the, the backup file, or perhaps I went to the website accountantbesideyou.com where I offer backup files of a QuickBook account for churches that already have the preferences set up with the chart of accounts, with some classes, and a lot of things to save you time. Um, if you purchased one of those, the way you're going to want to load that is you're going to go to File, and you're going to open or restore a company. And so we're not going to open it. We're going to restore a backup copy. I'm going to hit Next. This is a local backup. And I'm going to go to wherever it is I have that download, the QBB file, um, saved. So that might be in my Downloads file. It might be on my desktop. Here, it was on this backup file, so I'm just going to double click it. Now, it's going to ask me where I want to restore it, and it warns me if you don't want to overwrite your existing, rename the file in the next window. But I'm okay, because this is the same file, so I'm calling it Mike Your Church. It already replay exists, so here I go. And again, it gives me that same warning we talked about before. It's restoring, and will soon let me know everything was fine. And that is how easy it is to back up and restore a QBB QuickBooks backup file. So there you go. Your data has been restored successfully. So I thank you for your attention, and um, Encourage you to go to my website, accountantbesideyou.com, for other useful videos and information on QuickBooks for Churches and other religious organizations. Happy accounting!